everybody, welcome back to Studio Sam. I've been getting lots of messages uh, since I recorded my diamond painting tips and tricks video about uh, diamond storage and what kind of system uh, should you uh, store your diamonds in and do I like the, the diamond storage tray that I mentioned in that video. So um, I thought I would make another video uh, about the, the diamond storage tray that I have. Um, because lots of people were asking all kinds of questions. What are the different size containers that you can that you can put in your tray? How much do they store in them? Uh, which type do I like best? So today we're going to take a closer look at this tray and answer all your questions. Okay, let's have a closer look at this tray. In Australia, it is sold under the brand Crafter's Choice. I believe in the US and in the UK, um, it is sold uh, under the name uh, Elizabeth Ward Bead Storage Tray or the Derice uh, Bead Storage Tray. But in Australia, um, it's been rebranded for the Crafter's Choice uh, company. These little storage containers come in four different sizes. Tiny, small, medium, and large. So the tiny size will fit around five to six bags of these regular size bags of diamonds that come with the majority of kits. The small size will fit around 9 to 10 bags of the regular diamonds in it. The medium and the large I haven't tried but we could easily work it out. The medium is around twice the size of the small. So if this fits around 9 to 10, this is going to fit around 18, 19 bags in it. Which would be really handy for if you were doing a really large work. Uh, 60, 70 centimetre square works or bigger where you've got lots of background colours uh, that could be handy. The large size is not quite twice the size of the medium. So if this fits around 18 to 19 bags in it, this one is going to fit probably around 35 or more bags in it. It's really personal preference about what size containers you like to use in the tray. I have got mainly tiny and small containers in here. Um, and if I go away on holidays and I want to take this with me or I'm traveling, I add one of these larger containers to it just for extra storage. Like the washi tape, the, the blue tack, uh, red wax if you want, uh, little, little uh, a small pair of scissors would fit in here for cutting open bags, uh, and things like that. You could also use one of these large containers as like your little waste bin, you know, for the, for the, for the drills or the diamonds that have got holes. Uh, I often have a little bin. This can work for a little rubbish, for a little rubbish bin. When it comes to fitting your containers into the tray, you will fit 13 of the tiny size into one row. There are, there are six rows, so if you're using just tiny, that will give you the 78. You can have 78 colors. So if you wanted to do, use only the small containers, you would fit 48 colors into your tray. So I think it's a great idea to get a, a mix of the sizes um, if you can. And I know that if, if you're in the US and you can buy this on Amazon, that there is um, a complete kit that you can buy where it has a mix of the tiny, the small, the medium and the large in it. And I do think that's a great idea. Um, you, can really, you can really make it um, versatile and make it work for you that way. If you, your, your main preference is just to fit as many colors into this tray as you can then it might just be worth you just getting just getting the tiny size because then you will fit 78 colors into the tray uh, if, if that's what is more important to you so how do i label these 
Well, there are a few different ways. Um, the, the tray actually does come with some little white labels that you can stick on and, and number them. I'm not sure if those stickers are removable. So I, I have used washi tape, which is just that paper-based craft tape. I stick it around the side like this and write on it with a Sharpie pen. I do that because I love the colour and it's just what I like. I like having the variety of the colours with the pretty tape and I can see what I've written with Sharpie on that paper really well. It works for me. And then when, I, when it comes to uh, starting a new work and replacing some of these colours, I simply remove the washi tape, I pull it straight off the container, stick it onto a Ziploc bag and um, pop them and then I can store that away. You don't have to use tape. I have read on in some of the groups that you can write on these containers really well just with um, with a black sharpie and that it removes quite easily with a little bit of nail polish remover or acetone. Uh, so that's that's another way that you can go. Another question that came up in one of the groups that I'm in recently is if you buy the tray from, uh, say, the Australian company Crafter's Choice, can you then use the Elizabeth Ward containers in it? And the answer is yes, absolutely you can. Here is the package from from uh, one of from the small containers that I bought. Is this is the the Crafter's Choice containers that I added to the tray? If you look down the side here. You can see here that it actually says this is copyright of Elizabeth Ward Company. So these are the actual Doris Elizabeth Ward containers that have just been rebranded for the Australian market under the brand of Crafter's Choice. So it is all compatible. If you get some Elizabeth Ward containers that you find for a great price uh, and then you find the tray on sale at Spotlight or somewhere else in Australia, they are, they are, all, con they are, all, they are all compatible. So then the other million dollar question is, where do you get this from? I bought this, I bought the tray from Spotlight Online in Australia, and I bought all my containers separately from Craft Online, which is uh, an online Australian craft store. If you're in the US, uh, I know that you can get this for quite a good price uh, from Amazon. What I was going to ask though, is if there's anybody watching who knows um, where to get these trays from at a really good price, either in the US, in Australia, or in the UK, write the link in the comments. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut and paste all of those links into the description. So if you've found this kit and you wanna share um, the great deal that you found, write it in, uh, write a comment uh, and, and leave the link for that. And I will compile all of that information uh, into the description for everybody. I'm so glad I bought it. It saved me oh, endless amounts of time in scratching through bags, trying to find the colors that I wanted. Um, and I honestly think I spent more time searching for colors than I did actually doing my diamond painting. This, I can see my colors at a glance. I think it is just so convenient. It stores away really easily. And it, with the different size, when you can store even um, you know your accessories um, in here you could easily throw um, your pen down the side here and store that in here as well and with one of these larger containers to put tape um, red wax or blue tack in that you like this can easily become an all-in-one an all-in-one system it stores away on a shelf really easily um, and I just love it. I just think it's it's been a really great compact, um, fuss-free solution for me. So that's it, guys. Um, I can't think of anything else that I would say about this except that it's been fantastic. Um, I hope that has answered everybody's questions. If there's something that I've missed, uh, another question that you've 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 thought of, uh, write it in the comments, and um, I'll see if I can answer it. Um, but also let me know what you think of this tray. If you have it and you like it or you don't like it, uh, write it in the comments. I'd love to hear uh, everybody's thoughts on this. Thanks guys. Uh, I hope you, this, this video helped you out in some way and I will see you next time. Bye guys.